Now that I finally got my game bar working, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever living millennium treasure boo boo stain. Off of that like and subscribe button. My voice got deep there. Pause. Ladies and gentlemen, I called it. Uh, I said Infinite Forbidden could have Exodia support. And everyone's like, oh, no, Aunt Avery, they're going to focus on the anime, which was a good point as well. I'm not trying to downplay that. But a name like Infinite Forbidden, there's got to be something there when it comes to it. And now you look at the pack art, and yes, it has Exodia on the front. So Infinite Forbidden, yeah, Sugar Boo Bear, we're getting an Exodia Fusion Monster, which is the pack cover. This is the Phantom God, Exodia Incarnate. Level 10 Dark Spellcaster Fusion Effect Monster, Unknown Attack, Zero Defense, Five Forbidden One Monsters. Now, first when I read this, I was like, this card's kind of garbage. But they're actually getting a fusion spell in the form of Millennium Cross that can't be hand-trapped. So, I've only read the Millennium Cross in this, and then we'll, we'll jump into the rest of the cards here. So, five Forbidden One Monsters. This card on the field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay. Once per turn, if this card battles during damage calculation, it gains attack equal to your current life points. So, if you're at 7,000, it gains 7,000 attack. Once per turn, when a spell, trap, or effect, so not monster effect, a spell, trap, card activation, or a spell, trap, or effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation. Doesn't destroy it, just negates the activation. I don't really know how to feel about that, because, like, if you negate the activation of a talent, then they can just play another one. Um, once per turn during the end phase, you can set one, it says Exodio, I haven't read the rest of the support, so I don't know if it's... It's supposed to say Exodia, but either way, uh, Exodio, Exodia, whatever, spell or trap, or obliterate directly from your deck. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you lose a thousand life points. So this thing's not going to be up on the board forever. This is more like what I feel is like an OTK machine. Uh, of course, it's named after the pack Phantom God, the reprint pack for the OCG that printed the piece of Exodia in the regular circulation. That's pretty cool. Um, being able to set obliterate is kind of cool. Um, it'll depend on what the other Exodio or what, however this is supposed to be, translated spell trap obliterate is interesting because obliterate was like the first card for exodia that was released years back that really helped put the vanilla monsters to use because the issue with exodia right is the fact that the vanilla monsters are just bricks you want to have them in your hand but you don't want to have them in your hand it's it's really difficult so this here is millennium cross take five forbidden one monster cards from your hand deck and or face up field and reveal them then special summon one the Phantom God Exodia Incarnate, the Fusion Monster, from your extra deck. Then shuffle all face-up monster cards you control into the deck, except Exodia monster cards whose original level is 10 or higher, so like the retraining Exodias, and Millennium monster cards. Also, you cannot summon monsters for the rest of this turn, but you can normal set. After activation, shuffle this card into the deck instead of sending it to the graveyard. So here's what's cool about this. You can't hand trap this thing. It doesn't dump to the grave like Branded Fusion, so you can't ash it. A uh, shifter doesn't matter because you're just revealing the monsters, and it's from hand, deck, or face-up field. So as long as they're not in your graveyard, you're good. Now, again, with the five Forbidden One monster cards, you're probably going to be revealing the five pieces of Exodia because I don't think that, unless there's another Exodia monster here, I don't think there's going to be... You're going to have, like, one of the level 10s up. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, the new theme here is based off of Simon's cards in the video games and actions in the final arc of the manga. Oh, that's cool. The caveman that awoke after a millennium. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Level 8 Earth Beast Warrior Effect Monster. 2750 attack, 2500 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can place a face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If this card is a continuous spell, you can pay 2000 life points or reveal one millennium cross in your hand. Special summon this card, then you can add one millennium monster or one sangagen from your deck to your hand. It cannot be shown by monster effects. So Sangagen is an old vanilla monster. That's actually kind of cool. Um, one Millennium Monster. I mean, <laughs> you can add Millennium Shield. <laughs> and I think that this little effect monster here that I'm looking at is a Millennium Shield retrain. Um, Golem that guards the Millennium Treasures. What are these names, bro? Like, Exodia is a Millennium Archetype now? Like, what? Level 6 Earth Rock Effect Monster. Well, don't bring back uh, Block Dragon. 2,000 attack, 2,200 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's in your hand, you can place it face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If this card is a continuous spell, you can pay 2,000 life points or reveal one cross in your hand. Special summon this card, then you can add one temple of the stone slabs from your deck to your hand. The activation of your millennium cross cannot be negated. I mean, unless the opponent has an established board with like a bear enough, I don't really see how they're going to be negating it, but okay. Um... Shield of the Millennium Dynasty. Yeah, this is the Millennium Shield retrain. Let's go. We have a chub. Level 5 Earth Rock Effect Monster. Zero attack, 3,000 defense. 
The OG Millennium Shield is back. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's in your hand, you can place a face-up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If this card is a continuous spell, you could pay 2,000 life points or reveal one Millennium Cross in your hand. Special summon this card, then you can add one Millennium Cross from your deck to your hand. Cannot be shot by spell or trap effects. Yo, these cards are good. Like, no joke. All of these things float into the back row as a continuous spell, and then you can summon them by either paying 2,000 or getting the cross to your hand. And at most, you're going to be paying 2,000 if you've got the shield in hand, because then that just adds you cross, and then you don't have to pay 2,000 for the others. These cards are actually kind of insane. Like, I'm not trolling. Millennium Moon Maiden. Level 4 Light Illusion Effect Monster. 1,500 attack, 1,300 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's in your hand, you can place a face-up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If your opponent activates card or effect while this card is a continuous spell, you could special summon this card, and if you do, your opponent cannot target level 5 or higher illusion and spellcaster monsters you control with card effects this turn. This card battles a monster, and neither can be destroyed by that battle. I mean, that seems kind of good. I don't get, though, with these Millennium Monsters, like... They're not helping you achieve Exodia, right? Like, you have access to the Exodia Fusion, if my mic would cooperate here. You have access to the Exodia Fusion, but, like, are you really going to play all these Millennium Monsters with five pieces of Exodia just to try and get to Exodia? I feel like these Millennium Monsters are, like, kind of their own thing. Like, I feel like they're just good on their own. Millennium Fiend Reflection. Level 4 Wind Illusion Effect Monster. 13 are attack, 14 are defense. You can always the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's in your hand, you can place a face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If your opponent activates a card or effect while this card's a continuous spell, you can special summon this card, then you gain life points equal to half the attack of one monster on the field. I guess. This card battles a monster, and neither can be destroyed by that battle. I'm not really impressed by this thing. Temple of the Stone Slabs. Here we go. Field spell. Exodia's getting a field spell. Let's go. You can only use the first effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your main phase, you can place one monster from your hand, face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Then you can place one Millennium Monster or one Sengajin from your deck, face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If a face up Millennium Monster, Monsters, and or Sengajin you control as a show by battle or card effect, you can place a face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. Huh. So... Face up, and then you can place... So, with Exodia, I would have to look this up, but can you place the pieces of Exodia in your back row? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you could with the stone slab, put them in the back row, and then use the cross and reveal them. But then I think... Can you get all five pieces on the field and win? I think you can, but then they'd be treated as continuous spells. I don't know. That, that's interesting to note. Um, Exodio Blaze. Okay, so the, the translation did mean Exodio. Okay. Quick play spell. One level 10 or higher monster you control with Exodia in its original name gains these effects. You can pay half your life points. You cannot activate other cards or their effects for the rest of this turn. Okay. Also destroy as many cards in the spell and trap zone as possible. Then equip two forbidden one monsters from your hand and or deck to this card as equipped spells that give it 2,000 attack. This card attacks a defense efficient monster and inflict piercing. Okay, so I think that that... Uh, uh, confirms what I was talking about just now with having the Exodia pieces in the back row. I think you can have all five pieces on the field in like any capacity and win. So that that's that's actually interesting to note. Raging Hellfire Exodio Flame Normal Trap. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. If you control a level ten or higher Exodia monster or the like the fusion, because um, that's a level ten or higher, destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's hot. If this card's in your graveyard, except during the turn it was sent there, you can banish it and activate one of these effects. Add one Forbidden One monster from your deck or grave to your hand. Shuffle up to five Forbidden One monsters from your graveyard and or ban. I think they mean banish, not banishment, into the deck. I think they just mean banish zone. I mean that's interesting. Overall, I mean, there is really nowhere to go but up with these things, right? Like, there's no way that Konami could have just fumbled the ball so bad. Um, this is cool. This is really cool. Th this this Phantom God Exodia, like, art looks like a fake card that you could get, like, years ago at a flea market. Like, it's actually kind of cool. Um, the Millennium Cross thing being a fusion spell for Exodia, I never thought Exodia would get a fusion spell on a fusion monster. The fusion monster overall, I think, is not the best thing. But as, like, an OTK factor, like, you know, it gains it equal to your life points. Like, you don't have to worry about losing a 1,000 life points every turn because, at most, you're going to activate the cross, make this thing, you'll lose a 1,000 at the end of the turn, and then by the next turn, it's probably still going to be up, and then you can just link it away. So, I'm really excited to start messing around with these things. These new Millennium Monsters seem like they have a lot of potential, especially the fact that they can become continuous spells and just summon themselves out, at least like the main ones do. Some of them you have to, the opponent has to activate a card effect. And a Millennium Shield retrain, that's that's sexy. So, yeah, here we go. Guys, let me know what you think of these cards. I'm actually like really excited. Is Exodia going to be like tier 1? 
Probably not, but only time will tell. I think that there's a chance. Plus, like, if I'm correct, y'all will have to let me know in the comments. I'm going to look it up after I record this video, but let me know, like, down in the comments, can you just put all five pieces of Exodia in the back row, like, um, whatever that card is, Destiny Board, and, like, just win? I think you can. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.